Act two, scene one, a room in Polonius's house. Enter Ophelia. How now, Ophelia? What's the matter? Oh, my lord, my lord, I have been so frightened. With what, in the name of God? My lord, as I was sewing in my closet, Lord Hamlet, with his doublet all in embrace, no hat upon his head, pale as his shirt, his knees knocking each other, and with a look so piteous in purport, as if he had been loosed out of hell to speak of horrors, he comes before me. Mad for thy love. My lord, I do not know, but truly I do fear it. What said he? He took me by the wrist and held me hard. Then goes he to the length of all his arm, and with his other hand thus o'er his brow, he falls to such perusal of my face as he would draw it. Long stayed he so, he raised a sigh so piteous and profound, as it did seem to shatter all his bulk and end his being. That done, he lets me go, and with his head over his shoulder turned, he seemed to find his way without his eyes, and out of doors he went without their helps, and to the last bended their light on me. Come, go with me. I will go seek the king. This is the very ecstasy of love. Have you given him any hard words of late? No, my good lord, but as you did command, I did repel his fetters and denied his access to me. <sighs> that hath made him mad. I am sorry that with better heed and judgment, I feared he did but trifle, and meant to wreck thee. Come, go we to the king. This must be known. Excellent. 